Good morning and thank you for joining me for today's midweek reflection. Many years ago, after a day out somewhere on the Norfolk Broads, a friend and I were we were travelling uh, on a busy main road into the centre of Norwich and it was rush hour time and so it was stuck in this long queue of traffic and it was a hot afternoon and I remember our hearts sank because suddenly we realised we had a flat tyre. So we pulled over and I set about changing the wheel and we'd not been there very long when a lady appeared from the house where we'd pulled up and I think I assumed she was coming to complain that we were blocking her driveway or something. But I was a little bit surprised when she appeared smiling and she presented a big tray. And on the tray she had her best bone china tea set and a big pot of tea and a little saucer of milk, a little jug of milk and two plates with scones with jam and cream. And it was a little thing in its way. It was just a a quite small act of of generosity. But it's always stayed with me. I've always remembered it because I remember how it changed that moment from something that was a bit harassing and stressful into something that was just very warm. And I think hospitality is something that's worth reflecting upon. All of the world's major faiths have important things to say about hospitality and particularly about welcoming the stranger, about welcoming the alien. And the young Jesus would have grown up very, very much aware of how important that was in the Hebrew culture. Don't forget, the Jews had themselves been aliens, they'd been captives in Egypt, and so the the command to welcome the stranger into your midst was, was very, very deeply ingrained, was, was very, very fundamental. And it's something which resonates more and more, because perhaps in our own era, more than ever, we're in a time where thousands of people have been uprooted from their homelands and have been forced through circumstance to move into foreign lands. And the experience they have when they get there, the extent to which they are welcomed into the land that they go to or are made to feel like strangers, dramatically affects the extent to which they are able to assimilate into that new place where they're going. And I wonder, I just wonder whether the experience of the last year and a bit, I wonder if it's made us all a little bit more cautious about hospitality. After all, we've not been able to have people come into our homes. We've not even been able to have friends and loved ones come and visit us, let alone have someone we don't know come and stay in our house. I wonder has the culture of social distancing, which I have to confess is a phrase I really rather loathe anyway, but has that made us more cautious, more wary? If that were so, I think that would be a shame. It would be a pity. Because I think probably every one of us knows what it's like to be the alien, to be the stranger, to feel left out. And probably every one of us has also had that completely changing experience of being welcomed, of being made to feel like we belong, even when we thought that we didn't belong. And perhaps all of us, unknowingly, have somehow been agents of that welcome, agents of that hospitality. Perhaps in small ways, perhaps in quite dramatic ways. 
So today, maybe just take a moment. Maybe think about hospitality. Maybe think about a time when you've been welcomed into someone else's community, into their home. And maybe the next time that we feel a little bit apprehensive, a bit frightened about, say, talking to that person, that homeless person in the street, and we feel a bit awkward about knowing how to relate to them. Or the next time we have an opportunity to welcome someone into our midst whom we're perhaps a bit unsure of, maybe we should try to overcome our fears. Because who knows, maybe, maybe we're welcoming Christ into our midst. I'd like to read to you a poem, and the poem is called Hospitality by Joy Cowley. And afterwards, we shall hear the hymn I heard the voice of Jesus say. Hospitality. I asked love to help me greet the stranger in myself. I knew how to open my door to the world and greet everyone out there as a friend. But I didn't have any kind of welcome for the impoverished one within. She was the weakness I couldn't acknowledge. She was the pain I didn't allow. She was the leper I tried to cast out the city. The one who cried at night in lonely places. I thought that if I let her in, she'd cause me no end of trouble, and I was afraid. But love helped me to prepare a feast. We set the table, love and I, and then I did it. I invited my stranger. Answer the door, said love. You have nothing to fear. She came in slowly, I put my arms around her, and embraced her in her rags, and we wept together for years of separation. I sat my stranger at the head of the table, gave her the best of food and wine, and claiming her as my own, began to introduce her to my friends. But who shall I say she is? I whispered to love. I can't call her a stranger now. Love smiled and said, Don't you know? She is the Christ.